but it shouldn't be too fast, right? So keeping a really close eye, keeping their weight is very, very important. So any guesses? I think I, I mentioned it earlier. Any guesses as to how much you guys think he weighs? 9,000. All right, so we have a couple of guesses, and the guesses are all ranging from 3,000 to uh, 15,000. 9,000. 9,000. Amy, what did you land on today? 9,600. Wait, do it again. <laughs> so, 9,640 pounds. Perfect. So we're always keeping track of that, and it I might vary a little bit. I'm sure you can imagine for a kilo whale, even 10 or 20 might be, uh, you know, not that much. But we do look for those significant changes, and then our management works very closely with our veterinary staff. The amount of food that we give them is not how many fish, and it's not how many pounds. It's actually how many calories. So that's how much we are paying attention to what we are providing them. So we get a delivery of fish, and then we do an analysis to make sure we are aware of the uh, caloric makeup of that fish. Because this year, this season's fish might be different from last season's fish. And there's like six different kinds of fish. So by keeping track of their weight and paying attention to how much, you know, them maintaining and then tracking the calories of the different fish that they eat. We make sure that each individual is getting exactly the right amount that they need. So they each have their own buckets. Actually, they each have their own six buckets every single day that they need to eat. Um, and it's really important to us that they get their food no matter what. Now I want to uh, quickly here jump to what's going on in the pool so you guys uh, can learn about that. So can you get into our word together in this pool here in front of us. And we actually have two R to go into this small pool. Now, this small pool here is very, very important. It is called our medical pool. And it's unique because on the bottom it has a false bottom, which means that we can actually lift them up out of the water so the bottom moves. And this is where a lot of the uh, that exams and procedures happen. All right, so because of that, we want this pool to be really fun to hang out in because we don't want the only time that the whales go in there to be when the vet is here or maybe if they're not feeling well. So for the care of these animals, making this a very normal part of their routine is really important. So we want to make sure that they see that pool a lot and we want that to pretty much be the party pool, right? So when they go in there, we want it to be fun so that they will do it again. And that's important when we're trying to take care of their health that we can uh, chance that when we ask them to go in, that chances are that they will come in. So even something like this, where two are left, Kayuke, right, we're making a social change. And that's a choice that these whales have. They do not have to leave each other. And that choice is very important. But in the event that we really needed to get a blood or we really needed to get a sonogram or to do an exam, it would be very important that we could have that happen. So we want to practice that all the time so it becomes a normal part of their day. And that allows us, again, to take really great care of them. I do think that there's a question over here. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, I'm so happy to answer that question. They're asking about the dorsal fins that are turned over, right? And we didn't really see that on the females. So, the killer's dorsal fin does not have any bones, and it doesn't have any muscle. It's not a part of the skeletal structure. It's not a part of the body that they have any control over. Um, it's made of a really dense fibrous connective tissue, which is a lot of words, but the best way I could describe it is that it's similar to cartilage. So if you guys feel your ears, right? Your ears have shape, right? They, they have shape, they stand up, but they can move, they can bend. 
So I want you to imagine if your ears grew to be six feet tall and weighed 150 pounds, right? So when it gets to that kind of size, gravity is actually going to start pulling your ears and your dorsal fin down. And the reason that we see that, um, especially with the males, is their dorsal fins get a lot bigger, right? The females were not quite as large. We've measured Kayukit, who's now taking his turn going into the medical bowl. His is five feet six inches, which is as tall as me. And I'm talking just the dorsal fin. So once it starts to grow a certain way, they don't have the muscle or anything to be able to flip it over or move it. So then it just keeps growing that way. And this does happen in the wild as well. Normally we don't see photos of that. It's not normally the, the pictures that people are taking. But it does happen, and it really seems to be dependent on where the killer whales are spending most of their time. So killer whales are very adaptable, and they can learn from each other, right? And they're going to pretty much go where the food is. So if killer whales hunt sea lions and seals on the shores, they're spending more time at the surface, and their dorsal fins are more likely to flop over. Now, if they're open water, uh, pelagic killer whales that spend more time in really deep waters, maybe they're hunting for squid, you know, a thousand feet down, they're going to have more support from the water that's going to help keep it nice and straight because they're not spending as much time at the surface. So just like when you get in the water, you don't feel like you weigh as much, right? So that water is helping support the dorsal fin. In New Zealand, the population of killer whales there, they specialize in hunting stingray, which is really cool. They'll actually hunt upside down um, so that when they flip over, the stingray goes catatonic because when you turn over sharks and stingrays, they can't move anymore. So they've figured out how to hunt for them so that they don't get stung, uh, which is really, really neat. But stingray tend to hang out in shallow water. So they have found that 